Picture yourself walking around San Luis Obispo. Have you ever noticed on a really warm day when you are walking on a street that is totally exposed to the sun versus a street that's lined with trees? Well, I sure have noticed a difference, and even more so in the last three years since EcoSlow began its urban tree program where we have planted over 150 trees around the city of San Luis Obispo. I know that trees are one of the reasons we have such a wonderful community. So, what are the benefits of trees to San Luis Obispo? First, trees are the original air conditioner. They provide shade as we walk and shop, as we enjoy lunch or coffee with each other, or we hang out at a park. Trees can lower daytime temperatures up to 10 degrees. This is really important as we see increasing effects of climate change, which is already here, by the way. Second, trees provide homes to wildlife, such as birds and bees, squirrels and possums. They benefit from us humans making sure they continue to have homes, such as in trees, so these critters can continue to be part of this community. By raising their young and hiding from outside elements like rain and wind and predators too. And last, trees are healthcare for our soil, our water, our air. A tree's root system holds soil in place. A tree acts as a sponge. It absorbs and filters rainfall before slowly releasing that water into places like creeks, and it reduces pollution. Trees also minimize carbon dioxide release. They sequester carbon. So, there's a popular Chinese proverb that you've probably heard that I often refer to with this rather new program of ours. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Planting trees in a city can be tough right now. We are talking about planting trees that, in a, that are in a 15 gallon nursery pot and they're usually eight feet tall. It can take time to find locations that are a fit, and it's a labor of love for our volunteers and staff to get these trees planted in the ground. And with climate change here and weather patterns continually changing with unpredictable seasons, it's essential that we ensure these trees get weekly care for the first three years after getting planted into their forever home. From there, we hope they will, they will become established and that they will naturally adapt and adjust. With hard work and a little bit of luck along the way, we have had the support of amazing volunteers and wonderful partners. One of those supporters is the San Luis Obispo Tourism Business Improvement District, or TBID for short. Through their new Keys for Trees program, which supports the City of Slow's Climate Action Plan, the Slow TBID is dedicating 1% of its annual revenue to plant trees throughout the community. With the City of Slough's commitment to plant 10,000 trees by 2035, there came the opportunity for EcoSlow to work with the city even more toward this massive and important goal. But why would tourism fund local tree planting? Whether we like to admit it or not, in the nonprofit sector and in environmental work, we need money to do things like plant trees and care for trees. The unique Keys for Trees program from TBID creates sustainable funding in a way that a certain industry can give back to their community when they are also reliant on one of the biggest contributors to climate change, transportation. We need to incorporate better ways to take care and protect nature. Even in an area like the city of San Luis Obispo, where green space and nature have been prioritized by this community for over 30 years and probably more. With the business community, in this case, the tourism industry in SLO, funding eco slow tree planting efforts through TBID makes taking care of nature a priority. So if you value clean air, homes for wildlife, lower energy costs, and clean water, then trees and nature preservation should be a value for your business. My challenge for you today is to look at your industry. How is your business prioritizing taking care of nature? A friend once shared with me, everything we do has an impact and it's up to us to figure out what type of, what type of impact we want to make. 
So EcoSlow would like to thank the Slow Tourism Business Improvement District and their Keys for Trees program, as well as the City of Slow and the Sustainable Slow program for making it a priority to focus on solutions and the sustainability of climate care efforts. This is a program that can and should be modeled. 